So in, in order to really maximize productivity at the store, you really got to walk away from the store. Take 10, 15 minutes, whatever, grab a coffee, read the paper, and uh, just kind of let things fall into place. A little bit of leisure goes a long way. Remember that. We're really busy right now. We're short-handed, and right before Paul went on vacation, he took some sort of stupid trade and blew us off out dealing with that. All right, well, it's got the directions, and I'm heading out to the farm. I don't know why I didn't let him just bring it to the store. We could have him eat all the old stuff that doesn't sell. I mean, we've taken weird shit on trade all the time. You know, Paul's buddy traded in some Bowflex or some treadmill or something because Paul was on a health kick that day and decided, oh, I'm great, I'll take a guitar in and I'll do my workouts at home. You know, he traded a guy for skydiving lessons once. And uh, I don't think he ever really cashed in on that. I think he was going to send someone to do that. but So maybe I'll do that. Who knows? Oh, an Asteroids video game vintage? That must have been a trade. My hat. There's an Asteroids video game in the basement. Oh, man, that's a big turn. But at least it's still paved. Amber hits just a big ball, 381, looking for 440. I feel like I'm hearing the Dawn pork report. I think he, he traded in a, uh, a oh, he got a bison. You know, like he, a bison. Yeah, he did. He got a buffalo. Yeah, he got a bison. Good. And then he also got this real the rifle that he shot the bison with. Yeah, he took a Bowflex and a Vitamix. Paul was on like this fitness kick then. This seems to be an end. Uh, 441 might be this way. He took a vintage Ferris wheel. Like, it didn't even work, it's in all these pieces. He made blue, put it together. Uh, I'm gonna guess we're going around this way here. Now these better be some nice Texans because I don't feel like getting shot. Well, there was a mailbox back there that said 441. That's a single wide. He said second on the left. I didn't get a second on the left. We'll try over this way. We got lots of horses. Goats, cows, and horses. Now, how friendly are the horses? I don't feel like getting kicked. Hello, the horses. Is this where the goats is? We're a f***ing guitar store. And apparently, uh, we have some sort of incentive from the 4-H club now as well. Here we are in the natural lad of the Montana Scanscape. The f***ing guy takes in a goat on trade. A f***ing goat for a guitar. Domesticus Bacchus. Do you notice they're well-kempt? Numbered one and two. Blue's out documenting the goat to post on our website so we can hopefully sell it. Because they're in the shadows, it's a little tough to grab a picture. Hey, look at the camera. Thank you. Hey. Essentially, with the addition of the goat, Paul has a complete homestead. He's got a home gym, a full-on stock kitchen, and now he can provide milk and cheese for his family. Until we sell it, of course. Yeah. <laughs>